Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Satin and today I will be showing you how to use multiple Webpack configurations in your web app project. So the prerequisites for this tutorial is that you know what is a package.json file, uh, which is this, and you already have a project to, to test this on. It's very helpful because I don't need to have one big file containing the production, the development, and this other type of configuration in the same JavaScript file. It would be very bad to do that because then uh, your code wouldn't be modular. It would be very hard to understand. Uh, this makes it very obvious that this is only meant for production so the mode is production. This is only meant for development. So the mode is development and so on. The Webpack configuration usually comes like this, uh, webpack.config.js. Uh, you don't actually need to use a configuration for your project, as you can see um, uh, right here. Like if I don't have dash dash config, this, then basically we don't use any configurations at all. Uh, what most people do, and they learn this from other tutorials, is that your configuration file has to look like this. It has to be named like this. And you can only have this configuration. And this is wrong. Uh, you can actually have multiple ones. Um, like for instance, I have a prod configuration I have a development configuration and I have another type of uh, production configuration. I define uh, different types of builds right here with those different configurations. Basically, it's very straightforward. The, the way you have uh, other types of configurations is that you just have to define another JavaScript file, like here, for instance, in your project folder, and you can name uh, however you want. It could be raphael.js and of course you would have to format like this, you know, like a webpack configuration and that's basically it. You can call however you want and then you need to reference right here. I hope this was helpful to you and thank you for watching. See you next time.